Yes! Hey guys, salut, this is Alex, and today I'm gonna deal with Pancake Day. But I'm not gonna do that alone, because I am joined by the amazing Johnny from Craft Beer Channel. How you doing? How you doing? Super. You good? Yeah, you good. excited. We are gonna do some French pancakes, as known as crepes. You know crepes? I like crepes. I like crepes. So basically, crepes and pancakes are about the same. It's just that crepes are a bit lighter, a bit thinner, a bit more yellow, a bit better. <clears throat> Every food is equally good. Crepes are better, but all foods are equally good. I think something's been lost in translation there. That's nonsense. Yeah. I don't speak very good English. I'm, I'm, I'm... So first off, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect sweet crepe and then the ultimate savory crepe. And every time I want you, Johnny, to help us with your expertise on beers and try to see how we can pump up the flavors with good old beers. Why use milk or water when you can use beer, right? Perfectly, that's what I want from you. So if you want to see the sweet recipe, then click on my face. And if you want to see the savory one, just click on Johnny's head. Why are you the sweet one? I don't know, man, it's, you know. So first off, the sweet crepe. So one cup of flour. So one and a half cup of full fat milk for the creaminess. Then three eggs. Okay. Tiny pinch of salt. A good pinch of sugar. And give it a good old whisk. So now this part is optional, but I reckon this batter needs something really French to it, a nutty butter. A nutty it, butter? A nutty yes. butter. We, we call it in French a beurre noisette. Beurre noisette? Like two, three tablespoons of butter goes in. It's easy to make, but it's also easy to screw up. What you're waiting for is like the end of the song. I can smell it, it's kind of caramelized. So that's it. Yeah. That's it, straight in the batter. Then give it a good whisk, rapidly, just to give it a caramel flavor. I reckon this is a, just a bit too thick, and it might need uh, just a bit more milk to make it a bit more... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why use oh. milk when you can use beer? So I've brought along what I think will really work well in this recipe, and that's a wit beer, it's a Belgian style. Wow. Uh, and this beer uh, by Camden Brewery is brewed with uh, lemon and bergamot. So it's lemony, it's herbal, it's citrusy, and it's fresh. And that's it, I think. Went to the chef. <laughs> I think the batter is perfect. Normally, we should put it in the fridge for two hours to rest, but I reckon this is no need for that. And you've done scientific tests, Excel spreadsheets. Yeah. So place a frying pan, or in this case, a crepe pan, over medium-high heat, not too much. So if you want to flip it, it's easy this way. You want to flip it? Hey, fair sure enough. Okay. It's I trust you, here, boys. I trust you, Johnny. Yeah. The crepe is done. You just place it in a plate with a lid on top. The, the way I like to have them is pop them in a warm pan and just drizzle some, some simple sugar on it. And that's what we call in French a crepe au sucre. Or a beurre sucre. Because we put a little bit more butter if needed. We put butter everywhere. Because you're French, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's the cliche, but that's also <laughs> the beauty of it. Let it melt a bit, and that's it. Want to taste it? Yeah, yeah. Want to taste it? Oh, want to do it Yeah, I think it's good. So that's the sweet part done. Now let's move on to the savory crepe batter, but it won't be exactly the same, because in France, we don't make the, the savory crepes with wheat flour. We use buckwheat flour, and we don't call them crepes, we call them galettes. My surname's Garrett. Garrett? Yeah. One cup of buckwheat flour. One egg. And then we are not using milk, we are using water. One and a half cup of water. A good pinch of salt, and then a good whisk. It looks the same, but in fact, there is some serious different flavors going on. That completely different. Oh, it's really nutty, like peanut husk kind of thing. Yeah, uh, peanut, definitely like cashew. <sighs> Smells good.
Well, what you've got is something really deeply flavoured, really nutty, uh, and we can add to that by adding a dark beer. That will mm. complement that. Sounds um, good. Yeah, but this one's a really modern one, so there's some hops in there as well, so it'll be a little bit lighter, a little bit citrusy almost. Mm. Wow, such a rich colour. Can I taste it? Yes, of course. Mm, is it some kind of roasted beer? Yeah, well, so all the malt that goes into beer, it's all germinated and then roasted. And you can roast it for longer to get dark colours, darker malts, mm. uh, and sort of a roasty, toasty kind of flavour. So I reckon this looks just nice. Ew. So this time, instead of putting the pan over medium heat, we will go over high heat. This could be the perfect time to tell the viewers that they can subscribe to the Craft Beer channel yeah, and can. know more about like beers and how to uh, taste them the right way, what to find in them and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. How they're made and how to cook with beer as well, which is something exactly. we love doing. Yeah. Guys, you should definitely subscribe to the Craft Beer channel by clicking there. Right there. And obviously we came together because I love Alex's videos. Uh, I have learned a lot of how to cook uh, from watching his videos. So you should definitely subscribe by clicking right down there above his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> What's a grudge? It's your penis. Area. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah. This is what you should get. Mm. Definitely like lace. It looks like a lovely bra. Finish it with just a bit of butter. And you just gotta place it there. Okay, so guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed those recipes, the sweet one and the savory one. I really love those recipes. What do you think about them? I thought they were a load of crap. Crap? No, creep. Creep? Honest. Guys, give them a go because they are really amazing, easy to do and so delicious at the end. Absolutely. Guys, I hope you enjoyed those recipes. Give a comment down below, of course, with your favorite filling for the crepes or the galettes. Also, share it on your social media with your friends and subscribe to the channel, to the Crab Beer channel and to the French Guy Cooking channel for many more delicious recipes. Bye-bye, guys. Salut. Salut.